Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of kung fu kids in love that love reacting to some Mortal Kombat. In lavender. In lavender. <laughs> It wasn't planned. It just it just nope. happened. It just happened this way. Uh, I can't believe it happened this and, way. And, and she wore hers first, so I, I mean, I, but you know, I just didn't. I didn't plan. It. I just grabbed it. So that's just now you know more information than you needed to know. Um, so this <laughs> is our monthly Monday showcase as well. Uh, we are doing the Mortal Kombat 11 Tower endings, all the character endings for that, and uh, this one's gonna be a long one. So looking forward to it. And if you want to check out all of our Mortal Kombat reactions, go ahead and check out the description of this video. Uh, we got a link down there for a playlist, and it's super convenient for you. Happy binging. And because Mortal Kombat's one of our signature franchises, it also gets one of its signature drinks, the MK Margarita, which we drink with all of our Mortal Kombat reactions. You gotta add the blood to it to make it Mortal Kombat. And cheers. Cheers. Now, we are ready to get started. Now we're ready. I didn't ask for this war, but once it started, I had to finish it. They really got Hands stung. down, Kronika was the toughest enemy I had ever faced. All my tactics, my training meant nothing against a god like her. In the end, it was a battle of wills. <laughs> it never occurred to me that from winning, I'd get her out, guys. At first, I hoped to right every wrong in history. But then I figured out doing yeah, it noble goal. meant I'd have to decide the fates of billions. Picking who lives and who dies for eternity, it was going to kill my soul. Yeah. I'd end up no better than those old men who sent us off to war and not giving a shit about what would happen. It's pretty deep, Rambo. And that's not the man I want to be. It's time to walk away for good this time, leaving the pain and the ugliness behind. Mm. After all I've been through, I've earned a little peace. Hell yeah. OCP built me to serve the public trust, protect the innocent, and uphold the law. So when I found Kano dealing arms to old Detroit's gangs, I had one duty, apprehended. I never thought the chase would take me to a different universe, let alone end in a fight with Kano's protector, Kronika. And when Kronika went down, something unexpected happened. Her power washed over me, sweeping away the limits my designers had cool put suit on upgrade. my program. Mm -hmm. For the first time, I saw the death of OCP's corruption. It wasn't just a couple of greedy executives. It was the whole band company. OCP is making a killing playing both sides, selling to cops and criminals. When I get home, I am bringing them to justice. It will not be fast or easy. OCP has too much cash and too much firepower for me to clean things up alone. It is a good thing this will be an interagency effort. Welcome to the future of law enforcement. Down with OCP, yeah, you know. It was an epic accident that brought the Terminator here rather than to his owner's past. But it didn't take long for him to adapt. He figured that terminating Kronika and taking her hourglass gave him the best chance at achieving his mission objective. Destroying humanity so that the machines prevail. Turns out the hourglass wasn't the ultimate weapon. No matter how many times the Terminator rebooted history, the war between humans and the machines always ended the same. With their mutual destruction. He realized this war was a losing game. The only way to win was not to play. Hey, call back to war games. The Terminator used the hourglass to build a future where machines and humans don't fight. They cooperate. The Terminator knew that to preserve this future, no one else could learn about the hourglass. The information stored in his machine mind was dangerous. Uh -oh. It had to be eliminated. That's why the Terminator threw himself into the infinite depths of the Sea of Blood. Oh. No one would ever find him or unlock the Hourglass's secrets. If you could ask him about Close your eyes. it, he'd tell you he made the only logical choice. But in my book, that machine's a hero. 
Yeah. Absolutely. I snuffed out every devil in yes. hell. Until Netherrealm Invader showed up to piss me off. <laughs> it would have cost a lot of power fighting them alone. But they were being hunted by my new friends. Oh, nice. Call them fire and ice. It's a hell of a trio. They argue constantly. <laughs> Which is why I usually like to roll solo. But when it comes to killing demonic assholes, these guys <laughs> don't flinch. I can get along with that. That's a cool shot. Mm -hmm. The Grandmasters tipped me off to Kronika. Said she was resurrecting some nether realm god named Shinnok. But that's not happening on my watch. Kronika's just as much a devil as Malvosia. Both make promises, both tell lies, both underestimate me. That's why I'll make a new hell for them, where they can burn together for eternity. <laughs> Brief, creepy, satisfying. The Nether Realm is <laughs> locked down, but there's still eight hells left to purge. Oh. It's time to bring up the reserves. I made choices in my life that sealed my fate. I'm beyond redemption. But even the damned are capable of doing some good. What she say? So doing all some you damned. devils out there making false promises and spewing lies. We're coming. And you don't have a chance in hell. That was very satisfying. Yeah, it was. My dream vacation. Oh, God. I saw mayhem, mutilation, it was all a gas for a while. Hmm. But these nincompoops, they didn't really get me. Not even that pretty boy, Ninja Mime. Oh. Good night, sweet prince. Oh. I finished just about everyone worth finishing in Earthrealm and Outworld, even lovable old Netherrealm. I was a lonely heart in search of new friends. Oh, yeah. And as luck would have it, I had just the gizmo to find them. And oh, the hourglass spoiled me. Havoc and I are going to be bosom buddies. And what's that? My new pal knows an entire realm devoted to law and order, and he exists solely to disrupt it. Well, I say, he and I need to get busy. Oh, no. Meet the League of Misunderstood Maniacs. We're in the Order Realm and Enema. And God, <laughs> who knows where we'll crash next? This town needs Maybe an enema. We'll come to your house and slip nine grenades under your pillow. Maybe we'll cut your favorite pet. Or maybe we'll just break your TV right now. <laughs> With the hourglass one. My thoughts turned toward my sister. I was born from her flesh. We shared the same blood. I wanted us to be family. But she wanted me dead. Oh. I was not her twin. I was a monstrosity. How horrified mm -hmm. she would be to know that I've used Kronika's power to take her place. Under my parents' adoring gaze, I ruled the realms as Conum of Time. My sister's friends, <laughs> her lover, they cherish me. Katana is forgotten, her name buried in the sands of history. Yet even I can't reign forever. Like all queens, I need an heir. Oh my god. Someone to carry on in my name and see my will done across the eons. Unlike my sister, my daughter regards me with awe and wonder. To her, I am no abomination. I am perfection. That's disturbing. <laughs> Chronica was dead, the hourglass taken, and Adenia's future mine to command. I had obtained all I had wanted. 
all except that which I had wanted most, to know the true story of my parentage. That I was a bastard, I knew, born of an illicit affair between the Edenian god Argus and a mortal woman, Amara. But what I didn't know until the hourglass showed me was that I and my mother were both victims. She hadn't abandoned me. Thanks to my father's lies, she had thought me stillborn. I was stolen away and left to rot among peasants, while my mother died from grief. The Argus hid his scandal and his shame by killing the one person who ever loved me. For that, he would die. Deservedly so. Fair. As will his sons, Taven and Dagon. His beloved wife, Delia, she I will let live. Let her heart break as my mother's did, as she hoops oh. on her children's corpses. Mm. Bit overkill. Once I gained the hourglass, my first thought was to rewrite history and redeem the Lin Kuei's honor. But then I thought of Bihan, his life consumed by evil. Before I could redeem my clan, I had to redeem my brother. With the hourglass, I wound back time to our childhood. I studied every second of Bihan's life to understand why. Why he embraced Sector's corruption. Why he reveled in the vile power given to him by Quan Chi. Armed with that knowledge, I re-sculpted the sands of time. I changed Bihan's life and unfroze his heart. Now we are comrades, not rivals. Together, as Aww. joint grandmasters, we lead the Lin Kuei in defense of Earthrealm. Thanks. Yeah. Konika's power overwhelmed me, such that I would have been driven mad. Had I not spent centuries mastering the dark powers beyond the grasp of ordinary mortals. Now, I am the master of time and fate. But Chronica's fall proves that even Titans can be defeated. Though my new power lets me roam infinite timelines and feast upon the souls of billions, Jesus. I am vulnerable. To survive, I must return to the shadows, avoid confrontation, and work my will through the hands of others. More specifically, through the hands of my fellow Titans. These monstrous beings are applied easily by appealing to their greed, vanity, and fear. Through them, every soul in eternity bends to my influence. In my new era, it's pretty fitting for morality him. will be exposed as the illusion it is. The cunning will prosper while the good suffer. This I the crown. is a word mm -hmm. reminds me of, of eternity in Marvel. Have a nice day. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Before I was Nightwolf, I was a fool named Grey Cloud. Born into poverty, I resented my ancestors for giving up our future to colonizers. Kano offered a way out, promising riches if I stole my tribe's most sacred relics. Never trust this I guy. was sorely yeah. tempted. But then I realized that by saving myself, I'd be surrendering the last of my people's dignity. For the first time, I defended the Matonka's pride. Kano was unimpressed. But as I lay dying, the great spirit came to me. By rejecting Kano, I had proven worthy of an ancient honor. The mantle of Nightwolf, legendary defender of the Matoka. Now, as I inherit Kronaka's mantle, the way before me is split. The Keeper of Time cannot also be my tribe's defender. Mm -hmm. Which path do I choose? Even here, at time's beginning, the great spirit's wisdom guides me. She calls me to restore history, 
the Matoka, I must leave to another. To the next Night Wolf. Like all our sacred relics, the Night Wolf mantle belongs to the tribe. Any Matokan can prove worthy of its power. I enjoy imagining who will defend us next. She looks badass. Yeah, she does. All right, good choice. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, Shao Kahn invaded Adinia, murdered my husband, Jack, and forced me to be his bride. Yep. That's the story. <laughs> but it's a lie. Oh, no. One I told. Lest I lose the faith of my subjects or of my daughter, Katana. What did you do? The truth. Jared was weak, destined to fail. By betraying him, I gained a better lover and the ultimate weapon a conqueror to unite all realms and put them at my beck and call. I like that, what they've done with her. Then, Kronika upended history. And I found myself confronting a future in which I had been dead for centuries. My so-called family had failed me in every way. Katana broke my heart worst. Instead of uniting the realms, she sought to liberate them. As if the wasteland savages could ever be more than serfs. Oh. I had to discipline my little princess. And after that, I had to discipline a titan. Probably. Now, I have defeated Kronika. Outgrown Shao Kahn and Kitana. I have no more family. No more rivals. No more gods. I sit above them all. On a throne that unites all realms and all realities. Person on top Whoever always has rivals. Yeah. Wherever you when you are before me, kneel. For I am Sindel, Empress of Time. And you exist only to serve me. I like your ending better in Mortal Kombat. A lifetime of battle mm. prepared me to conquer Kronika. But as a keeper of time, I must be a creator, not a conqueror. I thought of the many sons and daughters I've lost in battle through the years. Imagined a better destiny for my kin. A history where the Shokan build rather than destroy. The results were catastrophic. <laughs> Comfort and ease extinguished the dragon's fire that once lit the heart of every Shokan. They became weak, corrupted fools. The timeline had to start again. War. For all its tragedies, is the forge of Shokan will. That's interesting. My people will fight. Many will die. But I will lead us to victory. And in the aftermath, the dragon's fire will blaze in Shokan hearts for eternity. That's a big guy right there. Mm -hmm. As the new Cheating. keeper of time, I was overwhelmed by my responsibilities. Who was I to design the destinies of mortals? As their protector, I had spent eons safeguarding them. But while I had grown to appreciate mortals deeply, I understood precious little about their daily existence. So I used the hourglass to live hundreds of thousands of lifetimes, to understand the possibilities of realm race, gender, and faith. Most importantly, I learned the simple joy of ending each day in the warm embrace of family. Humbled by my new wisdom, I bend the arc of history, not to my will, but to the service of those who must live it. While it is beyond my power, to guarantee outcomes, I will give mortals the chance to have better, more peaceful lives. I made my future self a promise that I would not stay mired in the past. But once I controlled the hourglass, I could not keep that promise. I had to restore my family 
Yeah, can't, can't blame, blame you. Over and over, I crafted the sands of time. Yet in every new timeline, my family's tragedy repeated. I was powerless to change it. After eons, I learned the truth. Kronika was not alone. She was one of many titans, each more powerful and ancient than the Elder Gods. It is they who conspire against us. Myself, my family, we are pawns in the game. Why? I do not know. But I will find out. And then, I will have vengeance. Nice! What does it I mean just to good. wield the sands mm -hmm. of time? To be the chosen one. It means making choices that break your heart. For the protection of all, I shared Kronika's power with the people I trust and love most. Together, we replaced the Elder Gods that Cetrion had betrayed and became eternal guardians of the realms. Still, my heart longs for a simpler life. A kind one cannot have being the chosen one, let alone an Elder God. What Kitana and I would not give for those simple pleasures. Perhaps in another timeline, it could be ours. Poor Lou. Mm -hmm. Kronika had manipulated me. In timeline after timeline, she stoked my anger and fed my arrogance, turning me against Liu Kang. My nose rubbed in my own fallibility. I was humbled. How could I be worthy to accept the mantle as keeper of time? I thought that to control time and destiny fairly, I must purge myself of all human emotion. Summoning the strongest magic, I burned away my fear and anger. All that remained was pure logic. But I learned quickly that the logical choice is often not the just choice, mm -hmm. unless tempered by compassion and heart. Exactly. Logic leads to decisions no better than those based on anger or fear. Now I am once more machine. at time's beginning. But on this journey through history, I will infuse logic with love. In this timeline, I will finally achieve peace for the citizens of all realms. You go, Raiden. It's a worthy endeavor. Yeah. This whole adventure? Capital I insane. I marry Sonia? I have a kid who actually likes me? Inquiring minds want to know how the hell that happens. <laughs> So I get the hourglass to show me how Kick and Shinnok's ass, which I did beautifully, <laughs> turned me from Hollywood megastar to global icon. So far, so good. Until I let that fame screw me up. Didn't hit rock bottom until I saw just how badly I'd let down my little girl. I finally got what old man me was saying about needing humility and maturity. But I also knew I couldn't get there without living the same life he did. So, I restored the timeline just as it was. With one tiny little difference. Sonya's story won't end up with the rubble of some busted up nether realm castle. Because Johnny Cage flicks always. <laughs> nice little romance in the stone moment there too. Yeah. I like all these movies they they're referencing in here. Kronika said I would lead the new era's deadliest clan, but she made such promises to many she could never keep them all. So I betrayed her before she could betray me. Damn. When Kronika's sands fused with my shadows, my ambitions grew. Why be a ruler of mortals when I could rule destiny itself? Mortals resisted but could not stop my blanketing history in cold, endless night. All is dark. All are shadows. I have had many names. Now. Worlds. 
pretty chilly. Mm-hmm. I conquered history like I conquered realms, merging billions of potential timelines into a singularity. The universe has been remade in my image, and all is as it should be. There's just gonna be statues the everywhere. weak serve the strong. The strong compete for power, wealth, and my favor in mortal combat. For centuries, the tournament's champion has gone undefeated. That champion is me! No, he looks like the dude Hail with the, the conqueror. thingies. Yeah. The wolf from um, True Blood. Oh. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe something or other. This is the actor's name. Of course I defeated Kronika. And when I did, there was only one thing I wanted to do with the hourglass. Undo the defeat of my ancestor, the great Kung Lao. In my timeline, the great Kung Lao is the undisputed Mortal Kombat champion. Earthrealm never loses another tournament. Nice. For generations, his example inspires millions to join the White Lotus Society and defend Earthrealm. They, in turn, inspire rebels to overthrow Shao Kahn in Outworld. The realms make peace. Until, inevitably, a more powerful enemy comes along and finds Earthrealm backed by Kung Lao, immortal lord of time and warrior supreme. <laughs> Beat that, Liu Kang. <laughs> you had to put that in at the end. That put that little dig at Liu Kang. I saw Kronika coming. Not even Raiden. But with the hourglass, I can see every terror in the realms. Any sane person would run screaming at the sight of them. Mm -hmm. It's my duty to take out these ancient, all-powerful beings. But to do that, I need an elite squad of immortal gods. Turns out, to make a new god, you've got to destroy an old one. So I hunt the oldest I can find, an omni-deity from a forgotten, unpronounceably named realm. <laughs> it's the fight of my life, but I've got something this god doesn't. Family. In my past, these were the people who mattered most. Now, they're my god squad. <laughs> nice. My daughter, my brother in arms, mm. my goddaughter. <sighs> yep, even Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Only because Cassie insisted. <laughs> and maybe I missed him a little. Just don't let him know that. <laughs> the God Squad. I like it. Of Johnny all came up with that daughters, name. Shao Kahn made me deadliest. Mm. He pulled me from the gutter. Bound me to the blood code. Made me fight for recognition. Perhaps he will commend me when I bind the blood code oh, to the sands of time. Oh God. Now a blood god. I demand more than shell cans of recognition. I demand worship. I'll have temples. Ministers, acolytes, prayers, and sacrifices. Rivers of blood shed in my name, purging heretics who dare to reject me. <laughs> Hers might be the darkest one. How proud Shao Kahn is now. How proud and how Obedient. For the only thing better than my master's recognition is to make him beg for mine. That chip on your shoulder. Or mm -hmm. worship me. Or there will be blood. You like blood, so. But the rest of us don't. <laughs> Though I first denied their truth, eventually I realized the wisdom of Liu Kang's words. There is virtue greater than my mother's desired balance. Good must be allowed to flourish. 
no matter how I reshaped time, rooting out evil proved impossible. Though freed from want, mortals still killed each other. Divided by realm and race, they easily justified their hate. Hubris, greed, envy. To appreciate my gifts, mortal sins must be cleansed. Which is why I baptize the realms with fire. For eons, mortals will battle evil, eventually achieving victory. And when they emerge from the darkness, they will be humbled, eager to embrace the light. That reminds me of uh, the ending of um, Constantine. Truth be told, mm. it surprised me putting down Kronika. <laughs> Not bad for a scroll to kill from with the same thought. Mm -hmm. Now that it's done, now what? I don't cotton to being lord of time, stuck on some <laughs> island at the edge of nowhere. No, Aaron Black likes being in the thick of it. Seems to me time ought to stay all person. mashed up. It's been a hell of a ride. Gotta keep these thrills coming. Which means making sure no one gets a chance to screw this up. Once the hourglass gets dumped in the sea of blood, oh, wow. ain't no one ever shaping history again. What happens next? Right. That might actually be the best place for it. Yeah. If I know. And that's just the way I like it. Yeah, no one gets to control it. I like that. As I gazed yeah. upon the hourglass, I knew what I must do. Restore my homeland Adinia to existence. Experiencing Adinia's verdant lands for the first time, I've never felt such joy. <laughs> but that joy was short-lived. Adinia's traditions, its languages, its culture, all were completely foreign, having been forbidden to me by Shao Kahn. I fit in with my people no better than a Tarkatan. Mm. The truth was hard. Though Adinian by blood, I am not an Adinian. I am an Outworlder. Not only that, I am Outworld's Khan. I will use ancient Adinian teachings to make myself a better sovereign. With them, I will fulfill my life's mission to better all of Outworld's people, including Adinia. Nice. Mm -hmm. Kronika made big promises. Not big enough, though, for what my people suffered. Our hands built the Colosseum, the palace. We were slaves. We served or we died. Every coin I took from Shao Kahn's tributes outward owed my people. Not that my Naknalan brothers and sisters joined arms to help me, no. Every great treasure I have won, I have won myself. I do not wait for handouts. I take what I desire. That is why I am now Khan. Nether Realm, Earth Realm, Order Realm, Chaos Realm. I want them all. And I will take them by right of mortal combat. <sighs> In her last moments, Kronika tried to tempt me. Spare her, and she would rewrite history. With Jade as my queen, I would rule an eternal Oshtek empire that spanned all the realms. But Kronika never understood the Oshtek heart. Our lives are cloth, woven from choice and circumstance. Pull even one thread, that cloth is torn asunder and made worthless. Now that I am tasked with keeping time, others beg me to have their histories rewritten. But as long as the hourglass is mine, I will not shape destiny in any one being's favor. Another good choice. History will play out as determined by its players. 
Let the sands fall where they may. Interesting that men Aaron Black are the same. Kind Some of similar outcome. dismissed me. Yeah. Raiden dismissed me. They all did. Even Kronika. Until I froze the smug looks off <laughs> all their faces and became the Lin Kuei's new Grand Master. The Hourglass offers even greater prospects. With it, I'll mold history to carve my name on everyone's lips. But even its power has limits. My vision can be upended by people's individual choices. Unlike Kronika, I won't let these imperfections fester oh, wow. until time itself must be restarted. The Lin Kuei will be my time warriors. Traveling through history, they'll get rid of those whose actions threaten my vision. From now on, no one will overlook my greatness. I'll never be dismissed again. She's like Scarlet got that chip on her shoulder. Yeah, chip and butler Kronika's was power mm -hmm. was mine. Mine to share with the tribe. In the new timeline I built, Tarkatans would be slaves no more. We would rule. We easily took a denier. Then Outworld and the Netherrealm. Last, we challenged Earthrealm in mortal combat. Within a thousand years, all realms fell to Tarkatan blades. And we have not run out of niche. Oh, jeez. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so nothing but pure self interest. Chronicles' mm -hmm. endless cycle of rewinding and Dude, restarting to timelines had destroyed my spirit, but she refused to grant me either freedom or death. So I took her power to do what she could not. I would create one final perfect timeline, then I would rest. But the task was more difficult than I imagined. Mortals refused to follow the paths I set for them. Timeline after timeline, my frustration grew. I began to understand why Kronika had been driven to madness. Perhaps mortals do not need a lord of time. Yeah, exactly. I will sacrifice my body and my mantle to re-sculpt the sand so that the hourglass runs itself. And for the first time in all eternity, I can rest in peace. For the second time in my life, I kicked the living shit out of an <laughs> My prize? The hourglass. Now I can change history. Talk about redonkulous cosmic power. But despite what you may think about Beverly Hills Girls, that is so not my style. <laughs> the chosen one thing is for the Liu Kangs and Katanas of the world. In the next timeline, all I want is to be a model soldier, to command the next generation of special forces. We were born to defend Earthrealm, just like the heroes that inspired me. My parents. Okay, so there's one more thing I want. My mom back. Yeah. Not just for me, Kitchen but for Dad. <laughs> he and my mom deserve a happily ever after retirement. So we'll never Big Steins. Know different things were the last time around. And a lot of hot dogs. We'll be together. Yeah. A family. For just the three of them? And that's all that matters. He's probably having the family like hot dog eating contest. All I wanted was to fix my life. Now I have the power to fix history. Raiden warns me. I can't fix everything. Change too much and I could lose Vera. Lose Jackie. But this power is bigger than us. If I think only about helping myself, what kind of officer am I? What kind of man? I've been lucky. My family and I have lived the American dream. But most people who look like me haven't had that chance. I owe it to them to put things right. And I'm not waiting centuries for people to get woke when I've got the power to speed things up. I, hear it. I don't get it right the first time, or the second, or even the third. But eventually, 
I hmm. knock it out of the damn park. Nice. My family's back. Good job, Jax. The world's a better place for everyone. And they are a good looking family. Yeah, they are. Turns out, you can have everything. Anyone who says you can't needs to dream bigger. Good saying. Yeah. Way to go, Jax. Shit sounds cool, right? <laughs> the power to control time, immortality, destiny. Well, let me tell you, this job sucks. <laughs> There's no pay, no weekends, and your shift lasts forever. Good point. The only smart play is to turn back time and give it back to Kronika. No, not to her. No. Anybody else. Yeah, she's grateful, too. No, no, no. Bad choice. For much. Just a chance to take out anyone who's ever tried uh. to burn me. Black Dragon was always more of a gig than a brotherhood anyway. Now I get to live large, enjoying the simple life of a well-to-do family man. And if Shao Kahn or Shinnok mm -hmm. ever come knocking, my family and I'll take them Jesus. down. Jesus! Just mm -hmm. like I took down Shinnok's mom. <laughs> Alright. I didn't see that going into Happy Family Man. I know. That was, that was interesting. This is pretty realistic about how most, most people I've are. I've had a lot of deals. <laughs> Handle it. But none spiffier than this. I spared Kronika, and she gave up the hourglass. You sure, a job without nights or weekends? The power to show <laughs> time and history to my liking? Oh, oh, oh fuck yeah. In the having, it was in the getting. So, I change things up one more time. Now, what I want is always just out of reach. I gotta earn it. I score lots of wins, but not always. And when I do win, oh, 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 it's something to say. Still not like him. Yeah, no. The hourglass was it makes the game taken. more than anything. And I could think of it only makes the fight more than anything. Dad killed, made a revenant, oh, resurrected. Since coming back, Dad's never forgotten the things he did for Quan Chi. I thought with the hourglass, I could fix all that. And I can. Dad won't die in that massacre. He'll never be a revenant. Okay. But turns out, what my guts told me since the start of all of this is true. Dad and Mom got together when he was in treatment. He doesn't suffer. Uh, they don't meet. And I'll never be born. Uh, and you know what? I'm good with that. Oh, Jackie. I'm not just protecting Dad. I'm protecting everyone he'll risk his life to save. In my shoes, it's what he would do. It's what a Briggs does. Hmm. I know you'll never hear this, but goodbye, Dad. I'm really proud of you. Because that's what he was saying. He's just like, if I can make the world a better place, I'm for my sacrifice. Time and I gotta do it, and that's what she did. Was lost. Which calm should be restored? <sighs> my lover Kotal, or my loyal friend Katana? Katana. Katana. I heard Kotal's voice call out to me. Follow your heart, Jade. Katana. So I let my heart lead, and it took me to an unexpected place. A faint memory of home and my mother. I restored my parents in Adenia, building a new era without Shao Kahn. And what a happy childhood I enjoyed. But as I matured, I sensed that I was no ordinary child. Ooh. Kronika's power dwelled within me, calling me to a higher purpose. When I came of age, I ascended to godhood as the protector of Adenia. Armed with the knowledge of past timelines, I challenged Shinnok and Cetrion. Ooh. Without children pitting the realms against each other, all could be at peace. And remain so. Under my watchful eyes. Oh. Nice. Yeah. 
Vermin. No! That is the humanoid word for the chitin and our fellow insectoids. But with the hourglass, this one can review history and give lie to that myth. Humanoids live to kill. Without a common enemy to fight, they divide, destroy each other. Insectoids live to survive. No conflicts divide us. We build upon each other. Kin does not kill kin. <laughs> so tell this one. Who are the vermin? All right, Time for this Make a good point. to write a more just history. <sighs> one in which pesky humanoids finally take oh, the wow. places they deserve. Oh, damn. Scrambling beneath our feet. Oh. Yeah. She made a good point, and then she just had to ruin it. She wasn't as gross as she was in um, in Mortal Kombat 9. I mean, Mortal Kombat 10. She's just really disturbing in general. Yeah. So All you, the time. What do you think about these? Um, I really enjoyed them. I was very surprised by Terminators, um, mm -hmm. but it was amazing and total hero. I'm kind of sad for how many times Katana got it in different <laughs> people's endings. She doesn't fare well if other people get the hourglass. It's true. Uh, kind of more than anyone else, which was surprising to see. Cabal surprised me. Yeah, with his happy little family moment at the end there. Yeah, yeah. Like, it starts off so dark and pure self-interest. I'm just going to kill everyone who I've ever had a grudge against. Yeah. But then it turns into happy family man, but with a tank in the front yard. So that was surprising. I know mm. I've been surprised. Aaron Black's one was, was interesting mm. about the fact of just, like, you know, burying it into the... Uh, you know, and this happened with a couple people. I think uh, Garrus and um, uh, Kotal Khan yep. all were kind of like, let's just let the chips, you know, fall where they may. Um, but his specific one of, like, burying it at the bottom of the Blood Sea or whatever, um, that one I thought was just kind of like, I don't know, a unique way to, to go about doing it. So it's kind of cool to see what people would do with that kind of power, but at the same time, I felt like then too much of it was a, a little bit similar. With the other endings from World Cup at 9 and 10, it just felt very like open-ended and it could kind of like go in any in which direction and like it, they could have a little bit more variety to it. With this one and each each person gaining the power of the sands of time, uh, I felt like they, you know, kind of like boxed themselves in too much into kind of like, you know, only having it be about like changing history. Would you change history? What history would you change? Would you flourish under that power and seek it or would you give it up? Like yeah. if you were willing to do, but... Yeah, and so, and I mean... Which, I, again, it was cool to see, but, like, I appreciated the diversity more in Mortal Kombat 9 and mm. 10, I would say, as far as, like, not really knowing, you know, what's what it's going to be about, you know? I think that Jackie's was the most, uh, oh. yeah, crushing, yeah. Heartfelt, oh. I don't know, it, it, it was one of those ones where, yeah, it got me a little choked up there because, you know, and it was great the way that this video was done because putting Jax's first and then showing hers and showing that, like, that's exactly what her father was, was, was you know, was willing to do, was willing to sacrifice. He was willing to sacrifice his own happiness and his own um, family if it just made the world a better place. And so she was willing to sacrifice herself if uh, save a bunch of people's lives because like all the lives that her dad would save. A soldier through and through for both of them, willing to make yeah. that ultimate sacrifice or, or if not even the ultimate sacrifice of just their life, but like their happiness, their family. I mean, even extending beyond just themselves mm -hmm. for the betterment of the world is... I mean, sure, we all like think like, yeah, I'd be looking out for the world and we all want to believe that, but yeah. it's going to be a very rare person who says, sure, I'll give up my life and my family and my happiness for the betterment of complete strangers who I've never met. And I like the different homages to different, uh, some different movies in there. Um, you know, they had like the one with uh, Terminator when he was talking about, you know, uh, the the only way to win a war is not to play the game. And that you know, made me think of war games where they, like, the reason that they, the way they get the computer not to basically launch all the nuclear, like, weapons is to play, like, tic-tac-toe and, like, it can't <laughs> feed itself. And I also like the Romancing the Stone moment with, uh, yeah. with Johnny Cage and Sonya on his back. And I liked how each, for Sonya, Cassie, and Johnny, each one of them, it was like their family was going to be together. Like Sonya's was a little yeah. bit more reluctant. Hers was a little bit more like mission based and okay, the, you know, the God Squad or whatever. Of course. I also liked with Johnny's how basically how sometimes going through something, going through the bad times and coming out the other end makes you a better person. And, you know, he could have just skipped all that, but he didn't. He's like, I got to go and I got to live through that if I'm going to come out with the same kind of, you know, 
message and, and, and learn from, from my mistakes and uh, really soak it all in. I thought that was, I don't know, I, it's not something that you'd expect Johnny Cage to do. You expect him to take like the easy way out or something. But I mean, it was, it was a uh, yeah, profound moment from Johnny. Johnny brings up a really good reminder that everyone can take on board right now, which is like, we all make mistakes, but we're shaped by those mistakes and we are made better people for the mistakes. Yeah, as long as yeah, as long as you learn from from those mistakes, and you know, it, it helps build character. And uh, I also like how it's like basically like humans. They say they're the same thing in the Matrix. Like humans won't accept like a perfect reality. Like I mean, you know, they always gotta have some kind of gotta have some kind of adver adversity in it to overcome or whatever. What I also really liked about Chiba's because it was very different from all of the other ones that we saw mm -hmm. was talking about how when she stopped the war and the bloodshed of her people, they became kind of like fat and docile and foolish and complacent. Whatever. Yeah, and. I think that's really interesting because what hers highlighted was that like we all need a purpose. Mm -hmm. Whatever your purpose is, whether it's to like to serve your family or to serve your community or to like succeed in a career, you know, whatever you've decided for yourself is your purpose. It's going after that that really gets you up every morning and, and makes your days worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have that, then it's kind of like, well, pardon the expression, but fuck it. <laughs> I, I will stay in my pajamas all day. I will drink booze. I will eat all the food. I will get fat. Because, like, who cares? There's, I'm not striving towards anything. And I just really liked that, unlike any of the others, hers really highlighted the importance of purpose. And even if your purpose is something that perhaps many wouldn't choose, such as war and bloodshed mm -hmm. and conquering, for them, that is their purpose purpose in life, their reason for being, and without it, they're lost. That's really well said. Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of profound moments in these uh, Mortal Kombat 11 uh, <laughs> endings. But let us know some of your favorites down below in the comments, and um, which one was your favorite, and uh, which one you, maybe if there's someone you didn't really like so much. I didn't like Sindel's, uh, like, I liked it, like, because in 9, she wins, and she, like, is able to, like, kind of bring peace and balance to everyone. Like, and, and this one, she's just this evil person. She's just that, all in on the evil. Yeah, yeah, that makes everyone bow down to her, and they, I mean, I don't know. So, I didn't necessarily like that one. Um, the one it, thing I walked away with was the fact that, like, she's like, and I have no rivals. And I'm thinking, then you're a fool. Yeah. If you were at the top like that, you always have a rival. If you are on the throne, there's always someone who wants your throne. You will always have somebody working to undermine you or take it. So, I was like... Fool Sindel. It's not gonna last. And Scarlet's was probably the most disturbing. Oh, one. yeah. Did we say which ones are our favorites? I don't know if we did. Alright, so which one's your favorite? I think Spawn's still my favorite. Spawn's was arguably the most satisfying. Yeah, for sure. that one was, I mean, I just love the shot, too, of, of Spawn, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero. That was, that was awesome. That was, yeah, I think that one's my favorite. Just from, like, a hyped-up standpoint. There are other ones that I like for different reasons that we laid out, but I think from just, like, a hyped-up standpoint, as far as, like, yeah, that was a really satisfying ending. I mean, there are a few that are coming to mind, but of all of them, I think it's going to be Johnny Cage. Oh, nice. Um, like, Katan is coming to mind. Jade is coming to mind. Those two are very similar in a lot mm. of ways. Cassie's is coming to mind. Yeah. But I think just, I really loved everything about Johnny's. Mm -hmm. Like, go through the hard times, learn from your mistakes. Being sort of like the cocky, arrogant Hollywood playboy is only going to get you so far. It's not that attractive after a while. Yeah. And how his ultimate goal was to be with the woman he loved and to have their love yeah. and their life together continue. And so for me, I'm like, boom. Well done, <laughs> All right. So now you've seen all our endings for Mortal Kombat 11, the tower endings or the character endings or... You, you so, some kind of endings. Some kind of endings. Uh, just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.